So today we are trying to understand why one dimensional arrays or any arrays in general starts from index 0. We know that array is very very good data structure to map information from some of the information in the real world and also in the problem solving. But today's focus is not on how to use arrays here but why arrays programming always has to start from 0th index. Let's take an example to understand it. Let me give a, an array of specifically 1D array of size, let's say 5. Let me take some elements, some random elements in this 5 slots here, 50, 40, 30, 20 and 70. And the two possibilities here, you can start from index 0, this is how we can able to access or you can start from index 1 also, we can access this data. So is this a good idea or is this a good idea? How do we know? Just to get more intuition behind it, let me assume the starting address as 1000 here and integer size 4 bytes, then this element is at 1004, this is 1008, 1012, 1016. That is the starting address of each element in the memory here. Now, if I use for example index 1, how do I access elements now? any programming, the way we access element is by using the most common notation like this. If name of the array is A, we write A of 5, means get ith element uh, available in array A. So the way it really uh, transformed to the comp by the compiler is this, it will take the starting address, takes ith element in a way, ith index multiplied by size of so element. This is the, normally the way the compiler really converts this simple uh, expression into what they call internal format. If you see this here, size of element we are assuming 4 bytes now here. i is whatever index element, you just substitute to i. The base address normally will be 1000. If I use index 1, let, let me show you how to really get you know the exact addresses in a vision. If I use let's say f, maybe I write it as one based indexing here, the thought process here. Let me access AF1. We know that AF1 is this, I want to get this address now. If you follow this, A is starting address is 1000 plus if you substitute I in a way here, I in this case is 1, 1 star 4. What is happening here is we are really going beyond this element, but we want this element to be accessed up. That means we cannot multiply by Y. That means for uh, one based indexing, this formula has to be modified. The formula is a of i is nothing but a plus i minus 1 multiplied by size of element. Now if you follow this, this 1, when you subtract 1 out of it, 1 minus 1 star 4, then it really gives up 1000. So if I start with one indexing, I get 1000 address to access 50, clear. Now let me access EF, let's say, third element here. I want to get 1008. Let's follow this, 1000 plus. Since my aim is to get 1008, so I am giving 3. So 3 minus 1, star 4, that means 2 star 4, 8. So we are getting 1008. Like this, any ith element in one based indexing system, I can able to really get exact address by using up this specific expression. So, but what if I use zero based indexing in a way here? So let me write this as zero based indexing here. Zero based indexing here. Now same element AF1. If you want to access, what is AF1 ideally? This is what AF1 here. If you want to get it up, now let's let's substitute this expression here. 1000 plus. So my aim is to get 1004. To get 1004, I take 1 star 4, then it is exactly giving up 1004. Means by using this formula, it is really, uh, you know, giving up right address and evasion. We got 1004. Now let me access, let's say, AF3. So this is what we want to get it up. To get that, 1000 plus, now take 3 star 4, we really get 1012. You can see 1012. So that means what? We are able to get right addresses for any index. If you want to have 0 now, 
so 1000 plus 0 star 4 here then we are getting up 1000 here so that means we got a starting address in both cases we are able to get exact addresses here but if you look at the expressions compiled generating up for zero based indexing this is the expression which is working out for one based index indexing this is an expression but while doing the calculation we got to do this extra subtraction operation which is not required in zero based indexing that's why all the programming languages so nowadays we are using it up they always say that you array index starts from zero even though it's a little painful as a uh, as a human's point of view to really map our numerical indexing to the array elements but from efficiency of uh, execution point of view one subtraction operation we are saving for each and every access we are making up that's a huge advantage that's why so we we most long ways we are using it up we normally tend to follow zero based indexing that's that's what we want really uh, the truth behind this so-called zero based indexing innovation.